Hello and welcome. My name is Space Muffin and this is the Void Strategy. So today we have another Battlefield Survivor video for you guys. And look, people, you know, kind of were talking to me, you know, in, in my groups and things like that. And they were saying that, well, like, how are you able to do this with such a low level character? So, um, you know, obviously, like my Joan of Arc is not super high level, but I'm able to kind of get through these and really, um, you know, just just do it well. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Th these are my talents, okay? So if you guys want to copy these talents, um, it to be honest, it doesn't really matter as much. Um, the thing that matters the most is the technique that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I kind of touched on it a little bit in the previous video, but this technique is going to allow you guys to essentially have a strategy and pretty much destroy all the battlefield survivors. So um, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and sh show this. So we're going to go ahead and click challenge okay it's recommended to use a level 95 hero our hero is not even close so it's like level 60 or something so we're gonna go ahead and deploy awesome guys so this is the key okay so the build that you want to go for is there's two things that you need okay Joan of Arc once again has a really great ability but you want to go for the formation strike that's what you want to go for. Don't worry about refreshing. You know, you want to go for the formation strike on these higher levels, on these challenge modes. And the reason why, okay, is because the formation strike as it levels up, eventually it gets people, it gets um, enemies that are um, ba basically like, it, it hits, and I'll show you. Okay, but anyways, you also want to get um, Iris Bombardment. You want to get those too. So the idea is like, the enemies don't even get close enough to um, basically damage you at all if you have those two abilities going and you have them maxed out. So, you know, we're going to do our thing here. You know, you could do the Reaper, but... Okay, so it's giving us kind of like um, no option. So in this case, we're going to go with Military Domain. Okay, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, you just want to keep leveling up the horses and you want to level up your Bombardment. And if it doesn't give you that option then, you know, choose the best option that that's going to give you, um, you know, things like that. So the other thing that you need to understand is, you know, in this mode, so yeah, formation strike, so we're doing good. So in this mode, like chests and things like that matter, you know, that help you, um, like, like that one that's like kind of like a magnetic one, those things are super important. And so as you can see, like I can kind of just stand still and then people will just die, you know? And so boom, we're going to grab formation strike again. And so between, okay, so we have an elite enemy coming up. And so you want to make sure that you really, um, you know, kill that elite enemy while also gathering these orbs here. So uh, I want to um, also bring this up as well. You, how do I say this? So let's do, let's do, let's do the gold chest actually. So what you want to do about, let's talk about the ultimate for a second, okay? So when using the ultimate, you don't want to use it when guys are zooming in on you. You want to use it when, um, like 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 when they're like like there's a there's that part where they just like all like surround you and all that. You do not want to use it because you'll bump into the wall and then you'll die. Like you don't have as much control when you're using the um, when you're using ba basically the ultimate. So you just want to use the ultimate in situations like this where you can kind of pop damage. And then, you know, ideally kill the elite as fast as possible. So, uh, infinite um, armlet, that's also really good. So, that combos with um, the uh, bombardment ability. So, boom. Very good. Okay, enemies down. We grab the elite chest. And, okay, so, you know, we're doing good. We're doing good. So, um, this is brutal, guys. You know, like, you know, this is brutal at this low level. So you got to make sure that you do the right things. You got to make sure that you grab the right stuff. So uh, in this case, you know, we're going to go with Golden Grip. There's that, that once again, that synergy. And then we're going to go with um, Iris Bombardment. Okay. So, yep. And then we're going to go and grab all of our things like that. So very good. Very good. So as you can see, like, there's a cascading effect with some of these that stack up. And it's really about, you know, this mode is once again about commitment. And I get it. Sometimes it's hard. There is a little bit of luck involved. Okay. So we're going to go and use our ultimate. Not a big deal. The ultimate really 
isn't relevant, to be honest. It's not, like, as relevant. You can actually probably get through this. So when it says a huge wave is approaching, like, if you bump into this wall at our level, at this level, this low level, you will die, right? So you just want to stay away from the wall. That's kind of, like, the only advice I'm going to give you. Um, really, unless you have to pick up stuff, but really try to stay away from the wall. And that's why, like, the horses are so good, is because um, you have a situation where... You know, you don't really have to be close to the enemies. You know, you, you can just kind of go in every single direction. And you'll be able to hit them that way. So there's a little little opening here. I don't trust it. I don't trust my fingers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let the elite come to me. And then just run around, kill things, grab stuff, and then deal with the elite. So, yeah, we kind of got a nice thing going here, you know. And the elite's going to give us... The second elite always gives you more. It always gives you more. And so... You really want to make sure that you focus on killing that second elite. And so once again, it's the cascading effect. You want to make sure you grab this stuff. Yeah, perfect. Okay, boom. We got that. Very beautiful. Okay, so let's um, level up the uh, infantry um, armlet. And boom, we got that. He's dead. Oh, want to? Yeah, and these like when these like mobs come like this, you want to make sure that you really hit them because they drop a lot of um, the blue orbs. So let's go ahead and grab the chest. Let's see what we got. Okay, so good. We're able to kind of cascade. Eventually, we're going to get the ultimate for the um, Iris Bombardment called Heavenly Glow. Once you get that, like, you're pretty safe. You know what I mean? You're, you're pretty safe. And then just, you know, level up the horses and, you know, kind of get that going. So the powerful enemy is approaching. Not a big deal. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and start leveling up. Um, one of the uh, good ones is Penitence Codex. Uh, Penitence Codex is actually really good as well. It combos with the um, the Iris Bombardment. So as you can see, like I'm just like chilling. You know what I mean? I'm just chilling, and people are dying, right? So you know you want that cascading effect. And go ahead and use your alt just whenever you feel like it. You know, as, as long as it says there's not a, a bunch of enemies coming. Um, Chalice of Sacrifice is good, you know, you, you know, you want to be able to, um, recover your health, you know, and as you can see, I'm just, you know, people are dying so quickly that, you know, it's, it's not really relevant, but for a lot of people, this is difficult because they kind of get into a situation, they, pan they panic and they don't like choose the right abilities, you know, um, so let's go ahead and level up our military domain, like why not, you know, and then, you know, we just use our ultimate, pop the, uh, boss, and then we have um, a magnetic thing over there. So, so far, so good. We're leveling stuff up. And let's go ahead and level that up. So, oh, and then boom, look at that. We got, oh, actually, horses are the priority, unfortunately. Um, but so far, so good. As you can see, we've kind of cascaded. And now we are just, like, god mode, right? <laughs> like, it's just completely obliterating everyone. Um, let me get a screenshot, actually. This is, like, super cool. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to screenshot. Wow, this is really embarrassing. There we go. Okay. So, um... That, that'll be a cool thumbnail. So, um, as you can see, guys, you know, we're cascading. It's very easy to die at this point, because you can get overconfident. So, don't get overconfident. You know, just stick stick to the plan. Stick to stick to what we're doing. And you will do you will do good on every single one of these. So, um, you know, we're approaching halfway through. And once again, it kind of can become a cakewalk, you know, once you start to really, you know, enter God mode, basically. So yeah, super, super chill, super easy. At this point, we want to hunt for boxes. We want to hunt for something that's going to allow us to... Um, basically get that magnetic effect now you'll notice that um oh perfect an elite that's beautiful elites are like you want to farm elites like you just want to just destroy elites um what's this oh nice golden grip okay so what we want to do now is we're looking for the, one of those magnetic crates basically you'll notice that like in the beginning that first like half we were kind of stationary now we're very mobile now that we have the ability to kind of deal with these bigger threats, you know, and they, they're they not going to corner us in, like, a mountain or something. Or not a mountain, but, like, one, like over here, like, if you're lower, like, they can kind of corner you, 
you know? So it's good to kind of, like, stay towards the middle a little bit. But, yeah, we're just looking for some of those boxes. And then, you know, it, it's just a matter of, like, the game's going to throw a bunch of guys at us. Like, you know, it's going to throw a bunch of dudes at us here in a little bit. And so we got to prepare for that by farming as much dudes as possible. And getting, you know, magnetic crate doesn't want to drop, but, like, that's what we need. We need that right now. Uh, and this elite right here. This this elite will be very beautiful to kill. And once again, I like to I like to use my um, ultimate, you know, just just to not even tempt me, like to where I accidentally hit the ultimate, you know, during um, you know when a bunch of enemies appear. So let's go ahead and do formation. Yeah, we're looking good, looking really good. So. Yeah, as you can see, we are farming like a mad person. So, um, and then, you know, boom, we get to pop the alt again. Okay, bo boom, this is what we wanted. Look at that. So let's go Clash of Steel. Once you get this ultimate, like, the game's over. Like, there's nothing. You can literally just sit here, like, all day long. And, and like, like no one can touch you. You know, like, like literally no one can touch you. Um, so we're not going to screw it up. You know, we're going to stay close to the middle you know we really want to stay close to the middle right now you know like it might it might be tempting you know to do like this but i i i say you know don't waste moments of your life you know really um yeah wait for the boss to come to you and you know as you can see he's gonna get eviscerated just by us barely moving and yeah they're gonna come in a little closer not a big deal really not a big deal Okay, so all those dudes are dead. Now we can use our alt. Okay, boom. Now we're using our alt. You know, we want to still, as you can see, like, I'm starting to screw up. So we still want to, uh, you know, manage our health. You know, make make sure we're, we're really, you know, staying healthy. You know, grab that. You know, um, let's do realm. And then let's do, we got to, like, increase health recovery speed. That's what we want. So, you want to be, like, you it's safe than sorry. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want to really play this safe because this is a 12-minute, you know, situation. And you really just want to play it safe. Even though you're, like, you're in god mode and you're just mowing people down, you want to be safe um, because it can you can very easily, as you can see, like, my health, like, for that moment, like, dipped really quickly because I'm such a low level. I'm not, like, level 95. You know what I mean? Um... So, yeah, you want to... Okay, so once you're done, like, kind of, like, leveling up everything, you want to focus on health. That's what you want to focus on. You want to focus on just in case. You know, you just never know. Just in case. You just want to make sure you have that health. So, as you can see, you know, might be another cool cool screenshot. Yeah, there we go. Um, cool. So, super, super good. Super chill. We are doing insane amounts of damage. We got a couple minutes left, but once again, don't don't chance it. Stay in the middle, right? Let let your horses and your god mode stuff do do its work. Okay. Let your god mode stuff do the work. Is kind of the idea here. Okay, boom. Those guys are down. That means we can pop the alt on whoever we want. But we gotta once again hunt for magnetic. Um, the magnetic crates. Yep, there it is. Boom. Got that. And I have a feeling, you know, we're going to need, you know, you just, you just really, yeah, this is, this is, this is the tough part here. So, oh, see, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, once you kind of reach this part, it, it is easy, but once again, don't don't become overconfident. So let's go ahead and see what our last stuff is. Um, I actually want to, believe it or not, I want to just do the health. Like we're gonna grab Dragon's Blood because we already have enough damage on board. Like we don't like there's no there's really no point in getting more damage. We really want to focus on health and defensive strategies. Um, that's like the main thing. Grabbing dudes and then making sure that our health is that we're healthy that's basically the whole whole deal because once that boss pops like you know that last minute who knows what's gonna happen right 
Who knows? But let's go ahead and see. So, got a lot of these guys. Let's pop the alt. On the elite here. Boom, elite's dead. He's given us just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and then we got... Oh, another elite. Nice. Okay, so... The game's just, like... It thinks it's challenging us by throwing us a bunch of elites at us, but it's actually, like, helping us tremendously. Because we get that... Sac yeah, we're getting, like, all that cool stuff. So... And then we're going to level here pretty soon. So let's really... Get ready for the boss here. Once again, you want to pop your alt frequently because it cascades so let's go ahead and do that looking good so far so good okay so now all right alt's been pop we're gonna pop it one more time so as you can see like this is the moment where it's just like alt popping season but you know i would stay once again at this point just stay away from the alt just for a little bit even if you're in the middle, let let everybody else do their work. You know what I mean? As you can see, our health is going down tremendously. You know, it's extremely difficult. And so, us, by us bumping into bumping into these guys accidentally because we can't control... You know, sometimes it won't let you really control it as well. That is when we will start having some serious problems. But once those guys are gone, like, we pop it. You know, we just we pop it. So, got the Trojan horse rolling up. They're dead. Pop the ult. Grab that, you know what I mean, and just increase your maximum health. We're doing good. We're melting the boss. Melting the boss. Awesome, guys. So there you have it. Um, that's kind of my guide to kind of kind of dealing with these um, challenge mode, you know, situations. And, you know, if you guys are having difficulties, let me know still. I, I want to help you guys. Uh, feel free to hit us up on Discord at thevoid.gg. You can join the green server, which is the Void 3. And, uh, yeah, guys, really appreciate you. So uh, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video.